Religion can be a very effective tool when used by narcissistic people as a means of abuse. The goal of this manipulation, which frequently takes several forms, is to hold on to power and influence over others. The misinterpretation or selective application of religious doctrine is a popular strategy narcissistic religious leaders use. Here are several tactics religious leaders use to abuse their congregation. The first is religious gaslighting. Narcissistic spiritual leaders may condemn the members of their congregations as sinners or undeserving by selectively citing or distorting religious doctrine or spiritual ideologies to justify their actions. When members push back against the abuse, they are threatened with repercussions in life and in the spiritual realm, which not only distorts the true meaning of the religion but also forces them into obedience. Spiritual narcissists sometimes use religious communities as a means of isolation. Religious communities can provide a sense of belonging, which abusers may take advantage of. In some instances, they may use religious activities, congregations, and gatherings to keep their victims away from friends and relatives, who might be able to offer support and wisdom. They establish a highly controlled and regulated environment this way, ensuring that their authority is unquestioned. These environments make members feel guilty about leaving the religious group because it would constitute a grave sin, which causes victims to remain in the abuse cycle. Narcissistic abusers may position themselves as divinely ordained authorities within the religious context. Additionally, religious authorities may unintentionally facilitate narcissistic abuse. Abusers may integrate themselves into religious hierarchy by gaining favor and trust using charm and deceit. As a result, victims may find themselves in circumstances where they are embarrassed or not believed when they attempt to report the abuse because the abuser has successfully painted themselves as a virtuous person. The complicity of religious institutions and leaders can further entrench the victim's sense of helplessness. Some narcissistic religious leaders use religion as a shield to ward off criticism by selectively using verses that seem to directly support their authority and actions and encourages them to carry on with their abusive ways. Hiding behind the mask of religion might discourage others from helping the victim while also keeping them confused. Spiritual narcissists often pervert and weaponize the positive and significant components of religion. Therefore, it is crucial for communities and members to remain vigilant when they see indications of religious manipulation and abuse. To prevent narcissists from distorting the genuine meaning of faith and spirituality, it is imperative that the behavior is acknowledged and addressed to prevent them from carrying out their toxic agendas.